IT, we have industry leaders that offer a wide variety of certifications. Jesse, I'd mentioned earlier that you hold a Microsoft cert. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, I just recently uh, got my AZ-104. Um, it was the first time in a while I've taken a cert, actually. Um, the one before that was a MCSA, um, which was three tests that I took for um, servers. But I noticed that they are moving toward new kinds of questions and stuff like that in the new Microsoft certifications. Um, so that's something to look look out for is the ever-changing scope of the actual questions on the tests. And Microsoft is definitely one of those people who keep you on your toes on how to answer questions and how to have the knowledge um, saved in multiple ways in your, um, it's not just one way of doing things, it's the thought process behind you doing it. And that's really what they're looking for in um, most Microsoft certifications. Not that just, you don't know just the answers that you knew how you got there. Jesse, what, uh, talk a little bit about your AZ-104. Was that a security cert? Was that an administration cert? What, what was Understood. that? Understood. Uh, the AZ-104 is an administrative cert. Um, it is a very broad cert, actually. Um, it's the one you would take prior to becoming an engineer of Office 365 and Azure Active Directory. So it really goes over Office 365 items all the way to building and running Azure servers and the actual Azure landscape, not just Azure Active Directory, which it also covers, but it will also cover how to deploy servers inside of an Azure environment, how to set up an environment in Azure to prepare for your um, mostly migrations from an on-prem to a cloud, which is where everybody's moving to nowadays, um, is getting rid of the hardware side of it and really moving into a cloud environment um, because of the easy use and the flexibility of what you can do with that um, up in the cloud. Our industry certainly doesn't stay static. So you'd mentioned that tests will change over time. Um, there are also some certs that require renewal. Isn't that right, Mark? Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's a, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a really important component of uh, the IT field and certifications. Um, you never just learn one thing. Uh, there's always going to be follow-up education because, you know, the, the rate of growth in the IT uh, uh, in the IT field as far as technologies that are coming out it's an order of magnitude uh, larger and and more in flux than a lot of other industries um, most Microsoft certs will have about you know in some cases uh, or Cisco things like that they'll have about a year and then you've got to renew and a lot of that is already information you've covered but there are some very key components in architecture or in you know the ways that things are done or feature richness like you'll see this in office 365 certs and and azure certs uh, for anybody that's in the industry it almost seems like every time you log into azure it's different you know and and the fun part is is microsoft isn't going to tell every single you know one of the hundreds of millions of people that use these systems on a technical level that these changes happen so they rely on us to do our part to get those certifications and get the renewals so that we're up to speed on on what they're doing 